Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well today we've got another little Divi hover effect for you. We've got an image here. When you hover over it, it pops up with a profile info. You've got the name, the position, bit of info and social media icons you can click on here. Really easy to do. We're not using any plugins for this today and we're not having to do any coding for this today. Now this has been inspired by a plugin called Divi Image Hover that I've got here and we created the, all these hover effects in about an hour and there's a huge amount of them. Uh, Divi Hover Effects has I think over 250 of these great hover effects that you can use. But uh, with a little bit of work you can do some of these without a plugin and without coding. But for anybody that's interested at looking at this it's a great plugin. Right now, it's Black Friday on uh, November 23rd, 2020. They've got 40% uh, off, so that's going to be a crazy deal. I think you're going to get it for around 10 bucks, looks like. But anyway, what we're doing today requires no plugin or no coding. So let's get started. I'm going to enable my Visual Builder. And I've got a section here blue tab with a row green tab with two columns in it we're going to start working on the second column here so i'm going to click the little button to add a new module like i say we're just using the onboard divi modules today and i'm going to use the person module right there okay as you can see it's put in a bit of content here and we're on the content page Put in the name, obviously in the name, whatever you want to put there, whatever their position is. You can put in a Facebook profile URL here if you want to. And these won't show up until you actually put a URL in here, so use the ones that you want. I'm just putting a hashtag because this guy is not real, obviously. Google Plus, uh, there is no Google Plus anymore, so let's put in a link then. And as you can see, the social medias have appeared down the bottom there. You can add any content about your person right here. I'm going to keep mine fairly short, so I'm going to remove some of that. But obviously put in whatever you want to say about your person there. Image wise, well, there's a placeholder image there. I really don't want anything in there because we're going to fade from the image to the info here. So let's get rid of that. Hit the little trash can icon. If you want to link the whole module somewhere you can do so right here and then when they click anywhere on the module it'll take them to whatever link you put in here if you're linking to your own site keep it in the same window but for best practice if you're linking to an external site open it in a new tab so that your site stays open okay background wise I'm gonna put in a black background but I don't want it fully black like that I want to to have a little opacity so that when I put an image behind it we can see it so let's drag this down a little bit we can adjust this some more in a minute okay well let's move on to our design tab now icon that's our social media icons here go in there I'm gonna make mine blue use icon font size to change them bigger or smaller however you want them not sure what size I had them over here but that'll do for me for the minute image we haven't got one so we can skip that text I want to put all my text in the middle let's align everything nicely in the middle there don't want any text shadow or anything like that title text well I'm gonna make that a bit heavier semi bold you can choose from a huge amount of fonts with Divi and if you just go in here and hover over one, it'll show you what that font's actually going to look like when you hover over it. But for me today, for expediency, I'm just going to leave mine on the default there. Made it semi-bold. Let's perhaps capitalize it. It's already in the middle. That's great. I'm going to make it blue. I'm going to take that size up a little bit. Something like that. Rolling on down, we can do something to the body text here I think all I'm going to do to it is make it white in color so 
so we can read that nicely. I'm not going to make it any heavier or anything like that. And again, I've left it on the default font. Position text, that's the CEO, his position. Again, I'm going to make that blue. I'm going to make it a little bit heavier, semi bold, so we can see it nicely. All right. So let's roll down a little bit more. We'll give it a bit of padding because we're going to put an image behind it in just a moment. So we'll go to spacing. Padding wise, I'm going to give it sort of a 100 top and bottom. Just hit the link. Just put in the amount. It'll put in the pics for you. Hit the link. It'll do the opposite side. And left and right, I'm going to give it 50 left and right. Fantastic. Great. Well, that looks pretty boring. So let's put our image in behind. So let's save our little module settings there. Now we need to go into the row, the green tab. I'm working on column two, which is this second one right here. So I'm going to hit the little cog. For the background, you can choose a color, a gradient, image, or a video, or a combination of color and image, or gradient and image. I'm just going to go for an image. I'm going to put little picture of our fella in there and there he is now you can use a parallax effect if you want to um, if you put that on when you roll up the page it's going to move at a different rate I'm going to leave mine just as it is keep it fairly simple and if your image is not displaying properly I've got mine to cover it's right in the center of my image you can align it top left top center wherever you want to or adjust your image with a image editing program and put it make it the size that you want it but I think that's going to work fine for me today great so what we want to happen is I don't want to see any of this content here I just want to see the image itself until we hover over it now to do that let's go back into our image right here I should say go back into our person module right here we're going to go over to the design tab. We're going to go down to filters bottom here. And if you slide down, there's one called opacity and that's like see throughness or transparency. Now common to most Divi modules. If you hover over the black writing there, you're going to see a bunch of icons pop up. If there's a little arrow like that, it'll give you the opportunity to set a desktop state when your mouse is not on it. And a hover state which obviously is when your mouse is on it so for the desktop I don't want to see it at all so I'm going to make it fully transparent by pulling that all the way down to zero so we've just got our image when we hover over it I'm going to pull it all the way up the other way so we can see it fully which is great now the time it takes by default in the Divi theme to go from this version to this version is 300 milliseconds which is pretty quick if you want to slow that down or speed it up if you want to you can go over to advanced transitions you've got transition duration I'm going to drag mine up to about three quarters of a second something like that 750 milliseconds don't want any delay I want it to happen as soon as anybody's mouse starts hovering on it and the speed curve I like to use for this is ease in, ease out. They're all slightly different. Check them out in different situations. Some will work better than others. But for most of my hover effects, I tend to use this one. But choose which one works for you. OK, well, we should be good to go. Let's save our changes. Save the page changes. And exit the Visual Builder. And there we have it. We've got our image and we roll over it. It's going to pop up with our sort of profile info there and you can click on the social medias. And like I say, you could put a link in that takes them anywhere you like anywhere else. They click on here. When you get off, it sort of eases back out again. And that's a nice little effect, effect to have on your site. You could build a nice little team section doing that. So there you have it. There's a very simple hover effect you can employ on your website just using the inbuilt features of the Divi theme. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, 
share, ring the bell and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.